it is also possible to use a calculated item in a pivot table but it's very important to differentiate and understand what a calculated item is so we've previously shown you calculated field and what that is is when you want to add subtract or do some sort of a calculation on two fields so two fields you'll see here I've got a whole bunch of products so that's one field I've got the amount that's one field and I've got the VAT that's one field so you can clearly see they're totally separate fields and so then we'd use a calculated field to say add that and that but a calculated item is different in the sense that it looks at one field so let's say product and it's saying that it wants to for whatever reason add product A and product B together now this is quite a dangerous function we don't really use it much but we'll just show you how it works so firstly if I click anywhere in the pivot table it gives me a slight problem because when I go to the field items and sets can you see I've got calculated field option but this one is grayed out so what you need to do is you need to click somewhere in the field that you're gonna do a calculation with and now when I go to calculated field I'll see this option here it's open it says calculated item when I click on it this pops up so what it now needs is a name so I'm just going to give it a name of product A and B something like that and you'll notice I can then give it a formula but notice it's already highlighted the field you're going to use and then it lists all the items it finds in that field so there's only a product ABC so it shows you product ABC then I can just double click on this and say I want to add that plus that okay so now we're pretty much done when I say OK, so just before I say OK, just notice the total here. The grand total is 1.2 million or so. When I say OK, can you see it creates another item called product A and B and it adds it up, 836. If I add those two up, you'll see they come to 836. But notice as well that it has created a double count. So that is the risk of calculated items. So when you put it in here, it then adds it to the total and our grand total is wrong so you be very careful with this so in this case what I'd probably then do is switch off A and B so that I'm now seeing product C and product A and B together so you can see that you probably could have just as easily grouped it but you can if you've got some more sophisticated calculations use calculated items but we are very wary of this tool and we suggest you use it sparingly.